the rain started between two and three, we were coping quite well, and then everything got out of hand. Yeah, I hung around down here for about 20 minutes before going back up to the top of the village where my mother lives uh, to have a cup of tea with her and basically sit it out to wait till the storm passed over to come back down, and it never passed. Hour and a half, two hours later, I was trying to get back down into the village by foot to, um, to help out, because I know my sister who lives up the lane here was having problems. Um, and it was totally impassable, um, probably three foot deep, very fast running water with debris in amongst it. There's no way you could get through. It was, it was quite scary actually. I, I was surprised that we didn't lose slates or windows. A lot of people obviously did. Uh, we weren't flooded either, but most of the houses around us were. So it was an awful, awful day. We couldn't even hear because of the hailstones hitting the uh, windows. It, it just drowned out all the noise out, didn't it? And fortunately, the, the fire service were around. They came down. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, they were helping everyone. They were making sure everyone was safe out of their properties, uh, which was the main thing. Um, there was a lady trapped in the house next door, and uh, she only just got out with the help of the fire brigade. So I think she'll agree they saved her life. We're very impressed. Everyone's, everyone's out in force in a big way. And yeah. Um, putting a lot of effort into the clear up, which is lovely to see because the business needs, to, you know, the village needs to get up and running as quickly as possible. I know a few members of both the Coast Guard and the Fire Brigade locally, and I've spoken to them and heard what they had to do yesterday evening, and obviously saw the, the helicopter and the, uh, the rescue they did up the, the lane behind me here. Um, fantastic, you know, without, without the, uh, the aid of these people, it's, you know, you, you don't know what could have happened. Um, yeah, above and beyond. Fantastic, Rick. Fantastic. There were firemen absolutely everywhere. Uh, they went round all the houses late at night, it seemed, just checking that everyone was okay before night set in. There were vehicles everywhere, all over the village. They were going to be here all night, different teams of them. They were very helpful, very cheerful, uh, very reassuring. Um, and they'd obviously been here before we arrived, so we were very, very impressed. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant.